Hello, boys and girls. And uh, excuse me, mister. Hello, sir. Yeah, la mo, les les gars, la mo, les gars, les la mo. In Espanol, well, okay. Let me see if I can if I can read me here some Espanol. I, I'm from Louisiana, so it's pretty close to Texas, right? Y'all speak a lot of Spanish in Texas, right? Oh, okay. Uh, this is fabulous. Did I say that correct? Okay. Fabulous. All right. Una fabula is un typo de quinto pop. Okay, I, I think that says a fable is a type of a famous story. All right, that's it so, so far. All right, he said, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, las fábulas uh, en el suelo. Huh? Fables on the floor. Okay, it just means uh, the fables uh, are usually uh, short. They have animals that talk. Animals that talk. <laughs> that's um. Uh, that that's impossible. They ain't no animals that. Talk. Mister, sir, hey sir, ain't no animals that talk around here. Oh, these people. Oh my goodness, animals that talk in a story. Please. Oh. Uh, it usually happens in uh, outside air. I guess they mean in the outside, right? Like outside, like outside, not in a building or in the schoolhouse. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it usually teaches you a lesson. That we can all agree. Ain't that right, sir? Uh -huh. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, famous fables. Okay. La Zora and the grapes. Uh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, some fur in my throat. El Leon and El Raton. Uh, I believe that the lion and the mouse, which was is what we're gonna read today. Uh huh. El Nino and El Lobo. Uh. Uh. Throw me a bone over here. Oh, okay. Uh, he said it's the boy and the fox. I guess. La Tortuga and the Libra. Huh. Oh, okay, he said is the tortoise and the hare. I like that story. Uh huh. And El Zorro and El Qu Zorro, like the guy with the with the mask. Oh, okay. He said it's it's the 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 crow and the uh is that the fox? Uh, okay, yeah, crow and the fox. Here we go, guys. Let's try to read this fable. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoy. Remember, it's gonna have some. Talking animals. Ha! Talking animals, sir. That ain't no that ain't right. That ain't right. What? What what does that mean? I talk. Of course I talk. Oh. I don't even know what he's talking about. I think so. I think so. I don't know what he's talking about anymore. Okay, here it is. Here we go. Here we go. The lion and the mouse by Teresa Mlala. Illustrated by Olga Cuellar. Illustrated means what? We always talk about illustration. Illustration means that Miss Cuellar, Olga, did the drawing. I think she did a beautiful job. Look at this right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Let's look at the cover of this book, boys and girls. It looks like this lion is 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 looking at this mouse. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And he's looking at him like, hey, what are you doing here? Uh-huh. And the mouse is like, please don't need me. Oh, uh -huh. let's, let, let's get to reading, all right? Remember, this is a fable, okay? Fable has animals that talk. <laughs> animals that talk. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hey, sir, can you turn down that, that, that classical music? I know, I know, I know. I don't know about no Sir Rodgers and Norrington, huh? Okay, turn it down. Thank you, sir. Okay, hey. Can you bring me some bananas? Oh, man. Okay. All right. Whoa. The lion and the mouse. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a fantastic story. 
Once upon a time. Oh, that's it. Fables always start with once upon a time. So if you ever hear once upon a time, that's probably a fable. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a regress. <laughs> once upon a time, there was a little mouse that lived happily in the jungle. He loved to explore as he collected sweet fruits to eat. Hmm. Like, like bananas, right, sir? Hola, hola. Well, that's right. He said bananas. Look at this. Look at this mouse. Oh, man. Yep. I, f I understand you, Mr. Mouse. Yep. Looking for sweet fruit. Uh-huh. One day, the little mouse was strolling through the jungle, searching for a shady place to rest. He went deeper and deeper into the jungle. Suddenly, he spotted something in the distance. A huge lion was sleeping under the shadow of a big tree. Oh. Oh, no. Don't do it, little mouse. Looks like the mouse wants to go investigate what that lion is doing. Hey, mouse. Hey, hey, little mouse. <coughs> Sorry, little mouse. All, all that lion is doing is sleeping. Don't you go near him. Since the lion was fast asleep, the little mouse decided to check out the so-called king of the jungle. That's what they call the lion, the king of the jungle. He carefully climbed onto the lion's tail and started running across his back. He reached the lion's head and inspected his mane and ears and gently pulled his whiskers. Oh, no. With the lion still sleeping, the mouse even lifted one of the lion's eyelids to find out the color of his eyes. Oh, no. Hey, hey little mousey, don't leave, leave, leave that lion alone. Oh, this was after he pulled his whiskers. Oh, no. Sir. You ever pulled anybody's whiskers? Oh, no. Well, hey, I pulled my grandma's whiskers one time. Let me tell you something. She was not happy. Nope. Nope, sir. Precisely at that moment, the lion woke up with a joke. He gave a loud roar and shook his head from side to side. The frightened little mouse dropped it to the ground. But the lion quickly caught him in between his claws. Oh, man, you are in trouble now, little mouse. Oh, no. Look at this picture. Oh, Miss Quayle did a fantastic job. Ogre Quayle, remember? Illustrator. Extraordinaire. <coughs> Sorry. Lifting the little mouse to get a better look at him, the lion said, how dare you wake me up? I'm going to eat you right now. Please don't eat me, said the frightened little mouse. Please forgive me, king of the jungle. If you let me go, I'll never forget it. Maybe one day I can repay your kindness and be of help to you. Huh? What can that little mouse do for that lion? Uh, let me see. Uh, sir, what can that little mouse do for that big old strong king of the jungle lion? Yeah, I agree. Ain't much he can do for him, right? But let me think. Hmm. Hmm. Let me ponder. Let me ponder. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what, what, what they're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Upon hearing this, the lion roared with laughter and said, Well, that's silly. How could a tiny mouse like you? Yep, that's what I thought. Help a mighty lion like me. I'm the biggest and the strongest animal in the jungle. And you're just a small, defenseless creature. What could you ever do to help me? Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly what I was telling you, mister. But you never listen. You don't even bring me no more bananas. Oh, okay, here we go. So look at the line. He, he kinda la he's kinda laughing at the mouse, right? Yep. Uh-huh. The mouse he, he that I, I think they're being friendly with each other. I think the lion might let him go. What do you think? Come on, friends. What do you think? You never know, replied the little mouse. Size and strength aren't everything. That is true. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I can only promise that if you let me go, I will never forget it. Considering what the mouse had said, the lion picked him up and studied him carefully. With a smile, the lion set him free, and the grateful mouse scurried away. Oh, if you ask me, that little mouse got very lucky. Yep. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, what do you think, boys and girls? Look at, look at the, look at the, you know, you know that this lion could have had a little mouse for dinner, right? 
Uh huh. But he let him go. Uh, so I, I wonder what the mouse is gonna do. So this story is kind of hard. Animals talking, really? You know any animals that talk? Oh, what? I ain't no animal that talks. I'm Barnabas. A few weeks later, the mouse was walking in the jungle when he heard a terrible sound. Raw, raw, raw. He recognized the roar and immediately ran in the direction of the noise. Oh, what do y'all think it, it could be? What do y'all think it could be? The, uh, the mouse was just picking flowers and picking sweet fruits, right? Like he always does in the jungle. He arrived to find the poor lion caught in a net, unable to move. He had fallen into a trap set by some hunters who wanted to capture him. As soon as the lion saw the mouse, he let out another sad roar. Oh, no. He tried with all his strength to free himself from the net, but he couldn't. He was trapped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mr. Lion. You are in a trap. What do you think the mouse is going to do, boys and girls? He, he can't really help him, right? Oh, oh, can he? Let's find out. My dear friend, said the mouse, don't worry. I help you. How can you help me? Questioned the lion. I'm caught in this net and the hunters will be here soon. Have faith, said the mouse, as he began to nibble on the rope that was trapping his friend. Oh, that's right. Look, 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 look. The mouse is actually biting through the rope. Whoa. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? The little mouse nibbled at the, the rope nonstop. Finally, he managed to make a hole in the net big enough for the lion to escape. Oh, wow. Man, can you imagine? Can you imagine if the lion wouldn't have let go of that mouse? You think the mouse would have helped him? Well, no, obviously not, right? Wow. It's weird how things happen in life sometimes like that, right? I don't know how to thank you, said the lion. You saved my life. You don't need to thank me, said the little mouse. You spared my life once. Now it's my turn to pay you back. Thanks to you, said the lion, I've learned that it's important to keep a promise and that even a small friend can be a big help. That is true. That is true. That's for sure right there. That's for sure right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What lesson have we learned from this fable, my friends? Even a small friend can be a big help. This was a fable, right? Okay. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful fable and this mouse and these lions are very happy to be uh, in each other's lives, correct? All right. Now, uh, sir, I got to ask you a question about this animals that talk, be it a fables. What, what do you mean that's not true? What? I don't believe that, not whatsoever. Okay, well, I got to go now because uh, apparently there's something in the front that I have to go check out. All right. Uh, maybe it's, it's a mouse or a lion. Or, or a turtle or something else or maybe another uh, 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 graves and, and, and something else, some other people. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I just don't know. Maybe a turtle's in a, a racing, a turtle in a racing hair playing a race. 